Hello, my name is Heidi Strickland Clark from Fast Track Fit Camp, and this is Friday with Heidi. Today's message may seem a bit blunt for some of you, it may seem really blindingly obvious to others, and for some of you, it's going to be probably a little bit harder to adjust your behaviour to get the results and the success that you want. But it's been inspired by having conversations with several clients and fit campers who have all seemed to be experiencing the same problem. And the question is an age-old one. I'm trying to lose weight, but I'm not succeeding. What can I do? And I usually follow that up with, with a few other questions to try and find out what people are doing. And ordinarily, I'd get lots of different answers. But over the past few weeks, the answers have been pretty much the same. Is that the temptation of having other foods in the house is too great. And that these clients and people are eating food they've bought for other people. It could be crisps, it could be chocolate biscuits, it could be sweets. Whatever it is, it's foods they wouldn't ordinarily eat for themselves. But because the foods are in the house, they find themselves compelled to eat them. So, what do we do? We need to make sure that we set ourselves up for success if we're trying to lose weight and get ourselves healthier. So if you're buying foods in for your children, you may want to consider cutting back on some of those snacks so there's fewer of them in the house. Because quite frankly, it takes the willpower of a monk to not eat those foods if they're there calling to you. And do your children really need it too? There's been a story in the news this week about how more people don't realise that they're overweight because everyone around them is overweight and they see that as the norm. And if we can start these habits earlier on with the children, then we're probably helping them not have the same problems that we are now. So I put myself in the same position. For example, this week I've been trying to make a new, or trying to make a biscuit recipe healthier from the recipe that I've got. But that means I now have a batch of biscuits in the kitchen. And despite all my best intentions, when I go in for, to make a hot drink or if I'm preparing dinner, I am picking at the biscuits when I ordinarily wouldn't have touched them. So I really think it's we're asking a lot of ourselves not to eat these foods if they're around. So what can we do? Really try and cut back on some of those less healthy foods. Have some healthier options in the house. If it's just for you and you're buying them in in case somebody comes round, you don't need them. Don't, don't have them in the house. It is all too tempting. And if you really do have to have those foods around because you've got family members who aren't going to budge, then put them in a separate cupboard. Maybe lock the cupboard. Put it in, a, in the garage somewhere that, so that you can't see them, so they really are much more out of sight and out of mind. So I hope that helps, just try and make things a little bit easier as to why some weight loss successes aren't always forthcoming. Think about the foods you have around you. If you've got healthy foods around you, you're much more likely to choose them. If you've got less healthy choices around you, you will definitely choose those first. So as I said, it's not rocket science, but I hope it helps some of you this week. See you next week. Thanks.